I'm literally on a camel. <laughs> oh, chill out, bro. Chill out, bro. Chill out, bro. Yeah. Yeah. of the underground water so all the permits must be on the west and all of them must be on a plateau He did not just call it brown sugar. Said, oh, he looks like yes. me. He looks like me. <laughs> he looks like me. Yes. What is this, doctor? Huh? This is a this is a, a title. Item. This is a title. For and a white no, 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 no. Yes. Yes. Tell me. Yes. But this is this this is part of this title. So okay. this is a this is a unit right here. Okay. Okay. This is a unit. And so this part is an abbreviation of a very famous title. This is the title of a ritual expert. And so 
this is a, a butcher's block, but it means the preposition is teri. It means that which is under. And then heb is the word that means, or hab, which is the word that means festival. That which is under the festival. Hmm. Or, or that who, or one who is carrying the festival scroll. The title for this is lector priest. So Harry Hob is lector priest. That means that in the scenes in daily life is what we'll see. How you know the lector priest is the lector priest will have a scroll in their hand and they will be guiding the ceremonies. They will be guiding everything and they will be in front. So what Obama saw here is part of this title. So there's a difference between lector priest and then what you have here is Harry Tep. That is, he is the chief lector priest. So that means he is upon the head of the lector priest. And lector priest is in uh, what we call honorific transposition. That means it's in front to honor. So what Obama saw, this title is, that means he's a chief lector priest. He's on top of the head of the other lector priests, which indicates the importance of who he is. May I ask something? Yes. I believe things doesn't happen for a coincidence. When the first African-American president appoint this, that means this sign that he is the chief, the president. Yes, mm. yes. Okay, is calling him. Yes, yes, yeah, 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 absolutely. He's calling him. Yeah. Like priest. Yeah. Yeah. Call. Yeah. Why he yeah. choose yeah. this? Right. Okay. Yeah. And he said it yeah. looks yeah. like Why? Yeah. And yeah. it really looks yeah. like yeah. him. Yeah. 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 Right. Nothing, nothing happened for coincidence. Yeah. Everything, his ancestors call him. Yeah. Yeah. Belonging to the famous Pharaoh King Ramses II. 
make it easy for you. From now on, whenever, wherever you listen his name, automatically connect his name with the big and huge thing. He was the most powerful pill among all of them, in my opinion. And he went known with his long wait. He ruled Egypt for around 64 years. And he left, and he died when he was 93, 94 years old. This man, he is the only pill that he, wherever you go in Egypt, you see his fingerprint. He was a great builder, he was a great warrior, he was a great lover as well. He was known with his great temple, that's known as Abu Simple, we cannot visit this. And his first wife and his first love, and as you know, the first love stay forever. Okay. That was the Queen of Nubia, Queen Nefer. No, no, no. Nefer Tari. Nefer Tari, his lovely queen, his lovely wife, she died in the 34 year of his reign. And that was the biggest disaster that happened to this king. He married four of her daughters wishing that one of the girls to be like her mother, but none of them. He ended up married around 21 ladies, and he had more than 115 sons and daughters. Yeah, eat a lot of food. <laughs> this king, this king, he was a great in everything, but in the same time, he was a great leader. If he able to achieve an achievement like this, he will definitely do. But in many cases, we saw that he erased the name of his ancestors, he erased the cartouches, and he put his. And to protect his achievement like this, he put his cartouches everywhere. So if one, try to erase one of his cartouches. He may erase one, but not all of them. So from now on, you don't need Ahmed to tell you that whenever you see anything has a bunch of cartouches, that means automatically is made by who? Fatah, the, the divinity Fatah. Fatah? Yes. Okay. And you can kind of tell by the collar and you can tell by the, the form fitting looks of the body. Fatah is like this, very, very close. So that's an indication of who that is.
under the Roman rule were, were suffering, especially the Christians. Okay. Islam started in Saudi Arabia, as I, as I told you, and this is the beginning of the glory of the Arabs. When Prophet Muhammad came, he started to unify the Arab tribes, the Arab tribes, and they conquered the whole North Africa. And we divided the Arab world uh, for Asian women and African okay. The Arabs, there are 21 countries, 21 countries from the west to the east, from the ocean to the gulf. Okay. Let's count them. Mauritania, Morocco, uh, Tunisia, Algeria, Libya, Egypt, okay. Sudan, Somalia, okay. and Madagascar. Okay. These are the, Asian, the African side. The Asian side is Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Jordan, Palestine, uh, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Oman, Yemen. Okay. This is the Arab world. Iran is a Muslim country, but we are not Arab. Pakistan is a Muslim country, but not Arab. Okay. The whole Arab world is connected together, the Asian and the African, and the only separate or the only being in their back is Israel. So, there is no road connecting between the two wings because of the existence of Israel in, in that part. Okay. Islam is the first growing religion in the world. And I guess uh, while you are here, you hear the calling of the prayer. We pray five times a day. The first one starts at 4.30 in the early morning. The second one at 12 at noon. The third one at 3.30. The fourth one at 6.30. And the last one at 8. Okay. Before we pray, we have to listen to the calling of the prayer. And I don't know if some of you maybe know this. This has been created by a black man. Okay. Islam, when the Prophet Muhammad came, Islam was against slavery. So the first slave who got his freedom is the slave of uh, Muhammad. He was a black man and his name is Bilal. So don't surprise that Bilal is a very common name among the African-American community who believe in Islam. When Muhammad established Islam, he asked Bilal to go above the first post in Mecca and call the people to pray. Bilal, he knew that he had a strong voice. So he went up to the mosque and he created this song. Okay, never come in the Quran, come from the mind of the man. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allah is a great, Allah is a great. Hayya al-Salah, come to pray. Hayya al-Salah, come for success. But the Quran is Salah, come to have a soul. The Salah is a duty, the prayer is a duty. Okay, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allah is a great, Allah is a great, Allah is a great, Allah is a great, there is no only uh, God except Allah. So it was created by Bilal. And since the time of this man, the Muslims never stopped to sing this song <coughs> five times a day for more than 1400 years. Okay? It was made by Bilal, who is uh, the slave of the Prophet Muhammad, and he was Ethiopian. So don't surprise why most of, the, of those who believe in Islam, who have the dark skin, they call themselves or they convert their name to be Bilal. Uh, we carried with us the ashes of one of our great master historians who made transition earlier this year. And we're going to put
put most of his ashes in the Nile and in uh, the Elephantine Island when we get to Eswan because his comedic name was the uh, protector of Kush. And he was really studied in the Sudan, but he also studied here. His name is Anderson Thompson. But well, before we do that, we're just going to pour a quick libation. So everybody knows how libation goes. So we're just going to offer our first water into the earth in respect of the creator, that which has created everything that will exist. And we use just say, Ashe. 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 We pour then for everything that has been created and everything that will be recreated for eternity. Ashe. Ashe. We pour then for all the ancestors who have come into this space and who populated the world who we are learning about in our trip. Ashe. Ashe. We pour then to all those ancestors in our bloodlines who have made it possible for us to be here. And at this moment, if you want to name anybody in your bloodline family that you know, let's just hear the names of the people who made it possible for all of us to be here. All those grandparents, great grandparents, parents, all the people, cousins. Pour a couple more times. We pour now to our national ancestors, those who protected us, those who defended us. These are the names we wear on our t-shirts and put in our uh, in our memories and put all over. So, name who you want: Malcolm X, Marcus Garvey, Van Lou Hamer. Let's hear some of those names. So we pour, it's our last ancestral pour. We co-mingle physical remains of our ancestor Anderson Thompson, historian, master teacher, researcher. He's on this ground so many times. We bring you now, as per your instruction, to get you as far away from America as possible. We bring you back to Africa, from which your ancestors came and to which you returned. For every human being who raised money for us, who sent us here, following these young people as they post every day on social media, who are having their minds reawakened, and who await our return to a place that we did not come from, but which we will transform. Keep them in mind as they keep us in mind. I say. I say. And then finally, we pour to our children's children's children. Those who will come through the wounds of the sisters in this circle. Their children's children's children. We will not be here physically, but we will remember us in our victory because we were the strong link in the chain. I say. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.